Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Nobody. He's got Baboka on his Phoenix. And no, no return of the Baboka, Ricky. Uh, as we did expect with Rick. Okay. the roll. Uh, out there, the cookie forward as well. Boxing with the body blocks. He's got shards still available. So Mone is trapped in. And uh, they'll be able to take him down. That, that, it's go time. They might even get the Ricky here too. He's got wand. He's got fairy fire. Still chasing though. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Cookie. See, they should have him. They've, they've got him, I think. Whoa. Whoa. Denied to creeps. No. Nope. Boxy takes the aggro. He's able to get in and still take the kill. Boxy. So could definitely die in the next stun if Nisha gets the connection. But Dragon Form will wear off. XWI will survive, but significant damage onto this tower. Nisha. Maybe playing too overconfident. Can they punish him? So he can get out of this. He, sh he will die. Indeed. Nice. Did, in did step up a bit too far. Didn't respect the fact. An eclipse versus this timber saw. They're setting up the gank. Four euros. They've got the kisses. And I've got a lot of damage with that ult. It was very much necessary to have the four of them there. Of course, XXS, not an easy kill. But with four heroes, they get the job done. Keeping this lead here, Liquid. It's Insania first. Living armor being thrown on the tower constantly. Is Liquid going to look to defend this? They don't have snap kisses just yet. They have got TPs if they want to. Looks like they're making an aggressive they move rather, Yeah, they might rather just try and catch Monet. Oh, they might be able to here. Monet. Oh, and Boxy's going in. He knows he's got the damage following up here with the kisses. As Boxy sets up for the kill. Will die. But of course, a very worthy trade there. Zai, is he able to get Siamese so Cat as well? Not quite. But they get the big one. They take down. Will not. Camp does not spawn. Smoke up from Master. They need they something wanna, going their way. They, 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 they want to They've got the ults, you know. They've got the Dream Coil Supernova combo. I see them set it up. Dream Coil under the two of them. Um, see Nisha uh -oh. trying to stand his ground. The backup's coming in. Supernova will be successful. There's no little shredder available for it, but they've already lost to XWY. After the Supernova, they have to back out. They were unable to get any of these kills against Liquid. And now Liquid with the chase, they may be able to get more themselves. Nisha, Good he gets cookie. cookied in onto the two of them. Dragon Tail follow up to lock down XXS. He has still managed to get the Timber Chain up to the high ground, but Baboka's left behind. Siamese Cat cannot hide as he gets shot down in the pit by the Scatter Blast of Zai. And they're making the rotation over. Can the smoke get broken though? Aster, will they see this coming? I mean, Liquid just kind of perfectly walks they, around they got, them. They got around them. Oh man, Monet. Oh, Monet. No way they catch him. Oh, I mean, they, and they, they're not going to expect it because he's going to be like, right, my teammates were down there. There's no way a smoke would come from that angle, but it does. Liquid, they make the move. See if XSS can do anything in return. He's looking for Zai. Zai's just going to go for the TP out. They've got the Dream Coil. So they will get Zai. So something here for Asta, but once again, losing Mone to, to these moves from Liquid. Right up there as Boxy looks towards him. 19 minutes in, looks like we should be able to take this tower. Start to get real this control next of the jungle. This next fight's very difficult for Aster. The PKBs are done. XXS is going in. Got the sleep onto Boxy. Boxy is up there chilling on the cliff. We'll see the chase from Nisha. Try to close the gap on XXS. He focuses down XWY first. In with the dragon tail. They take out the puck. Siamese Cat jumps over to the safety of Boboka. Only XWY going down here. Boxy actually able to survive BKB? through. Yeah, the Greaves. I mean, it's they don't really have that much damage on Aster to deal with these Greaves that just get popped. So much heal that comes out. And Liquid onto Tier 2. Group up around the, the Tier 1. If they got the Liquid smoke. They have got smoke on Boxy. They can go for the smoke move into the jungle. Mikkei leading the way. They, yeah, they didn't spot the, B, the DD. Uh, something that Aster will see, so... Monet. in. He's already going to start the action off on towards Siamese Cat. The heals are coming out for the Sun Rain. Not enough to save him. Siamese Cat gone. There's is a DD in the bottle them? for Monet, but four versus five, unlike the Aster want to look for a fight. Liquid, they yeah. can step into They're the Roshan. In. They got the vision Roche control, because Ward's protected. I think this is like the third or fourth Observer Ward they've placed in a kind of obvious position up on a cliff that's very likely to get dewarded, but they need this to try to have any hope of fighting. I mean, they, they look towards Nisha, but already you've got Boxy going very deep. He's going to end up snowballing all the way over towards Baboka. 
I don't think he's getting it out of that one. He indeed will, will lose his life for as deep of a move as he tried to make. They'll get the sleep dart Another onto dart. Mickey. Still got BKB and Aegis, so it's a hard kill to take. And they won't commit any further onto him. Because they know how tough it is to bring him down, let alone twice. Just the once. Good protection of the ward. Playing, they have to play oh. around it. Timey's cat steps up. He's caught under the sentry. Wait, what? they use kisses? Okay. <laughs> Perhaps a bit of a waste there from Zai. Monet. And insane has got very aggressive. If he wants to try and set up on this, but Monet's still holding on to using that BKB. It's very hard to open up onto. Unless Nisha can get some sort of blink dragon tail. And still moving in, Nisha. And he's going to walk Big in. Stun. He gets caught straight away with the combo. They'll try and get him out with the cookie. They'll get the BKB off, but it's not enough to save him. Nisha goes down. Asta. They're ready to look for more. Zai tries for the TP out, but the light striker is there from Mone. Asta starting to take away that lead that Liquid's been playing with for a while. These sort of kills. Two big kills here by Asta. And I'll be, did they also get the... They checked the high ground too for wards. Like I saying, a lot of this game is going to be up to initiation if Aster can keep the distance from their Lina. Yeah, they've got okay. excellent team by Aster. Sami's cat. Get the dart onto Mickey. They'll get the Mickey. light striker ray off. They get the stun. Mickey's dead. A very clean kill there by Aster. They'll be able to take Boxy as well from this one. And this this game's starting to look kind of scary for Liquid. They're losing that lead. And against a lineup that it really feels like only gets stronger as the moments pass. I, this could be a tough one for Liquid to regain control of. Absolutely. I this Ricky now finished, so scaling nicely. Liquid. I mean, they're in position to look for a fight, but it's it's not easy for them to fight. No. They've also changed the build on Nisha, by the way. He is going to be going Halberd. Oh, Take okay. a step back from carry position, more of just a utility versus the Lina. The jump. The fight with Boca. He get around to the back lines. Maboka not quite as close to the rest of his team as he would have hoped for in that sort of situation. They've got a deep ward too. They see XXS where he's positioned. They're gonna try and search him out with the kisses as well here. Nisha's gonna have Blink in a second. Could close him with the Dragon Tail. Loads of Zorba's off in time. And there's follow up control. XXS taken down. Mickey comes in with the crit. Cool play. Boxy also snowballed the creeps instead of the hero, so it didn't actually reflect. Bottom? Bottom. The overgrowth for Insania. Yeah? See if they can chase XWY after this, but he's already out with the, the waning rift and then into the blink, keeps his distance. Zai's Zai gonna be around to search. Cookie forward. It's a nice attempt, but won't be able to catch XWY. I think he's a bit too slippery for them to deal with right now. Oh, I know that Lucid Beam's gonna buy time for the Hex. They're gonna get him. He doesn't even... Oh, he unlocked too late. Wait, no. This is a decent amount of time where Asta wanted to probably play, get something done with this Aegis on Lina. But for at least 40 seconds of the, the remaining minute and a half, they're just going to be playing three versus five Aster. Yeah, these were these are next level wards. I mean, look at the positioning as you see on the map. Liquid, they have that one ward on the high ground in the triangle, then they have the other one behind that where that tier one bottom would be. And that actually allows them to go for these two plays. Or actually all three plays. They catch the Phoenix initially because of one ward, then they get the Timber because of the next. Great consecutive uh, chase. Now they're looking for Whoa. more Boxy. He was going in pretty deep here. Going beyond the tower, and he'll pay with his life for that. And Monet, uh, even Hurricane Pine. But I think it was an arcane rune, so we'll be back up faster. No egg though for Aster for the next few moments. If Liquid does want to try to take advantage of any downtime, they are smoked at the moment. Mickey with his individual smoke, that is. Oh, Nisha. He's going in here with the dragon tail. They'll catch Sami's cat. XWY jumps forward with the waning rift, but uh, he's taken a lot of damage for this commitment. He assembled this time. Well, indeed, put it together and jump away with the orb. We'll see if Liquid can keep chasing this. Aster, they're backing off. Jump forward for Nisha. Nisha's out again with a hex. And now As that's them taking him down, and that that's their gem, right? Yeah, that was Sami's cat's gem that XWY was holding. Yeah. He's got a full Agonims in a second. Oh boy. Okay, he's a thousand off. But he's Nisha, he's in. Oh my goodness, Mono has to put the BKB. Nisha nearly able to catch Mono by surprise. He immediately BKBs and keeps his distance. Now boxes him with a jump. Mickey leads forward. He's got the ult. The force Monet out of the side. With the Hurricane Pike, he's able to get away from them. Boxy is going to end up getting very deep here with the Snowball once again. He'll try and block him back with the shards, but Boxy will die for this. But the, the space has been created in the mid. The fortification has Monet. been out. They're over the jump. Overgrowth as well for Insane. And a full They're on top of Monet. Monet's gone. They've taken down the leader. Immediate buyback from Monet. XWI, of course, still 30 seconds until he's back, and he doesn't wow. have buyback available. They'll lose Boxy. Monet trying to take down Nisha. Will manage to do so. Nisha falls. But the mid racks. Range Rex has been taken out. 
Zai and Mickey looking to finish up the melee. And they'll manage to do so. Um, maybe not the stun. Mickey. He's got a BKB if he's able to get off in time. He'll put the BKB, but he surely can't. He's oh still alive. God, he's, he got a kill. He's going to be able to lose all his Bavoko. I mean, he, he does die, but the damage has been... It was Hexer Lincoln's what he was building for, but... It's a business here, Aster. Oh, wait, they actually didn't. Bro, they didn't take the refresher shard. What? Oh, it's in the pit. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? How did they... They actually didn't. It's still there. Nobody knows. Only us. Oh my jump. goodness. Okay, anyway, Foxy. Foxy. Oh, that was He's not dead. the jump. That was oh. that was not the jump at all, Foxy. He's dead. Oh. Didn't get the snowball off. That's, funny. that's, that's a whole, the that's a whole Aeon. Aeon. Yeah. Oh yeah, Eon. Sorry, I keep saying Aeon. Damn it. Oh. Jump. Nisha. He jumps straight in. They're gonna get the root off onto them here. This time his cat gets taken out, but it will cost Nisha his life, that initiation. One for one, but the gem has dropped. Zai will pick it up. Oh, it's just, it's not easy at this point for Liquid to get these type of jumps forward. Now that there's this Hex finished up, any of these instant disables, it causes huge problems. And they have so many BKB piercing things now at this point. Lina first coming in from the side, Boxy. Ready to see if he can get any sort of jump. Double coil could be game breaking with this Dream Call oh, Pierce's man. immunity. Yeah, it's, it's an... Actually, no, he's, he's, he's giving the refresh shot to someone else. He's giving it to Baboga. Oh, okay. Okay, whatever. The double egg. Double egg. Still very threatening. Boxy's Aeon actually gets forced from that. Dagger. We'll blink dodge it. Lickers up. Ooh, they're in. Jump. The hex off onto XXS. Mickey committing him with the BKB. Mane. We'll step back. And has to pop his own BKB here to make sure he doesn't get caught by the Dragon Tail and Nisha. They get Good the coil on a Boxy and onto Mickey. Boxy's taken out a buyback immediately. Mickey is trying to stand his ground oh with the heels. He'll look towards XXS, but he's caught in the cha chakram. Mickey falls. Double buyback comes out from Liquid. Triple buyback comes out from Asta. XXS pushes onwards towards Insania. The TP's coming in as both teams back up starts oh. to return. Zai killed everybody. Did you see his damage? He did 8,000 damage. He just blinks in the middle of everybody with double data. Listen. Flats him to death in an instant. Could be the game decider. Either his eyes so fat, he, he does need some help. XXS is trying to get in on this. He's trying to get the hex off onto XWY, but the angel disc is there. He'll get kicked out to the side here by Boxy, but the orbs back up. XWY gets away. Snowball from Boxy buys him a bit of time. Nisha getting focused by Monet. The overgrowth from Insania holds Monet back, but it won't save Nisha. Nisha goes down. Immediate buyback here from the Dragon Knight. See if Asta can push for more. Insania. He's still in the midst of the fight here. Got his eyes on them, they get the stun onto XXS, jump forward, they're locking down the timber saw. XXS getting very low, but he has cheese, he's gonna get caught with his stun, the hex to follow up, is he able to get saved by the samurai? Here he is, Baboka, heals him up, gives XXS just the chance to pop the cheese and stay alive. Okay, still watching from the high ground, XWY buys back, straight back in with the waning wrist silence onto the two of them. Insania still remi remaining hidden in the trees. Zai jumps in with the physical damage, the little shredder, not enough to kill XXS. XXS gets away, jumping from Nisha in the Dragon Tail onto Monet. Boxy is in deep and he'll pay with his life. He tries to kick them back, but that's Boxy out. Two dead on Asta. XWY! They, they, they've, they've caught the park! X that's a dieback! <laughs> oh, and the, this is the buyback situation. I was watching the North fight because it was literally a fight between Zai and XWY while the whole Southern fight was happening and Zai able to just, yeah get that like little bit of a blink off and reset to be able to get the secondary going. Now with the refresher, two dead. Liquid still poisoning themselves, very aggressive. Scary moment for Asta. So they can hold here with the three of them. Try for the Hex onto Nisha, but he bounced back to safety with a cookie. Comes up from Zai, Zai's in. Get some damage done, they get the Hex onto Mone. Mone of course has there the Aegis, he's gonna be back for round two. Indeed, very quickly taken down there by the Little Shredder of Zai. Mone, back alive, still. Seconds no Baboka, 25 seconds, no XWY. The push will continue from Liquid. So take the bottom set of back. Still very much go Astor's way. They're, everything rides on this next team fight. Whoever dies here is going to be out for good. I think it's Senya the, the only one close to buyback. He's 40 gold away. Everybody else, it, it's not going to be there. They have to put more emphasis on Zai, though. You, yeah. they, like, I know Mike is the carry, he's an issue. You need to control this, this set what? fire. And, and there it is, XXS! Him. He's in with the Blink Hex! Starts the fight, catches Zai, but Zai's able to get the BKB off! They didn't have the follow-up attack, Zai gets out! mono has been caught by the Hex himself, they're closing onto him! Overgrowth was done, Zai with the little shredder! Triple kill for <laughs> Zai! As three dead on Asta, they don't have buyback, it's gonna be a team wipe, it's a cleanup! And that, without a doubt, is gonna be GG! There it is! As Zai... Ending the game, 16-3 and 21. I mean, what a game. What a game. 60 what a, minutes in. Liquid. A little too outside the box for Liquid, but yeah. they are such a good team.
They do have their tree and enigma, which is their like it is a bread and butter for them, but slowed down by the nature's grasp. They're slowing down this Beastmaster decently though. This is a yeah, sure. Really good lane with the Venge in the tree, just tons of damage as you said. That wave of terror. Level two stun also, they can constantly go for kill there. But Boca might just die. Oh, they might have him there. Well they definitely do. There we go. First blood for liquid. And this safe lane duo. Making the Venge tree work. See, a bit off the mark with the grasp again. Oh, well, still, it's have the run down. so much damage. I mean, at the same time, top lane, Boxy gets behind the tower. They're able to take down Siamese Cat. Bottom lane, they will kill XXS. So Liquid getting these kills on both side lanes. That's how you have to play the Venge. It's all about early dominance, early aggression. Right now, Liquid making it work out. But Boko now starting to cut so much. We talk about it with 33 a lot. Stacks are already coming out from the bars. Insania, he's going to put a sentry down to block one. Mid. And then he's going to put an observer to scout the secondary mid. I got the setup on Denisha. He will go down. So a good movement from Siamese Cat. Comes in as a plus one. And with the two of them, they can take him down and slow down that Midas timing. Top lane. That's going to be Mono, though, dying underneath the tower. Zai and Boxy again with this top lane pressure. Uh, getting the big kill this time. Taking out the carrot. I'm seeing the mid Siamese okay. Cat. Standing in position if effectively he gets any sort of setup on Tanisha. Bottom. XXS could be in trouble. TP's are going to come in. This though. is quite a bit of a dive here from Liquid. McKay well, turns attention over towards Baboka instead. And uh, he'll him. get the kill. He'll take him out. See if XXS and Sami's Cat can get Insania in return. Mikkei's ready to head over to help out. Swaps him out to the side. Gets in aggressively onto XXS. Mikkei is going to be able to pick oh up the double. I mean, XWY more. will turn up to make sure that Mikkei doesn't get anything more from this. He's in with the Avalanche toss combo. Mikkei's still alive. Jeez. Oh my goodness. He, he nearly got Sami's Cat as well. But he won't. Sami's cat will live. XWY, a very much needed rotation there. Okay. He's pressuring bottom super hard as well in the meantime. Yeah, Already I mean, has two components of Aghanims. XXS can barely step up. I mean, if Mickey gets some sort of swap into stun and Insania turns up, it's a dead Beastmaster. So he has to be so careful. On the mid lane, they'll try Phoenicia and they will, they'll get him. They'll get him here. Boxy wasn't able to save him in time as he onslaughts forward. But backup comes in. There's the swap back from Mickey as he gets the catch onto XWY. See if XWY can run from this. We'll get the toss back onto Insania, and that will give him enough space to step away. So Asta, they are able to take Nisha out of the mid lane, and they won't lose anyone themselves. Zai, he'll move down to bottom, start to get some pressure onto the tier one here. It's just to creep away from having his own Midas online here. Ten minutes in is the Enigma. Big catches now. Asta able to find a secondary grab. This time they find Mickey. XWY. He's still having that good game. He I mean, he is. He's, another one. he's holding the game together here for Asta. These tiny movements. And Avalanche onto Boxy. It, it will be another. Tosses. TP's out. I mean, th this time... Maybe about to be dead in, unless he bails. He's, he's actually got no TP on him. So he's going to have oh, to... Oh, he looks dead. Yeah, he, he may have stuck around a little too long. Let's get the magic missile off before an Avalanche is there. Oh. Swap himself. So get a bit of that damage reduction here. Reducing it by 30%, but... It, it will not keep him alive. He tries to bring down... He in fact, he does manage to bring down Siamese Cat with him. Uh, but he will die for that. He, he lost well, into... Into the triangle. The Boxy. Still alive. He's going to be able to get the grab onto XXS before XXS can get the roar off. As XXS going down, Moni TP's over towards the tier 2. See if they can the clean creeps. up some kills in return. As the overgrowth from Insania holding them back. And make sure the Baboka and Moni aren't able to punish Boxy for that move. They oh, but... Going to slow him down a little bit. XWI. What? With the Avalanche, I'll get the toss back. There's Mickey. Let's get a bit of a heal here from the Mech of Zai. That's him taken down once. We'll see if he can deal with the illusion. Okay, Monet's still the ready to fight. He gets the swap back on to Mone. Mone caught in the midst of the fight. Mone's gone. As Liquid, they can look to try and push it for more. Mickey, ready to play onwards. As he's got the stun back up. The XWY surrounded. Liquid, they'll take out the two of them. And of course, with Mickey's this Agonim... Like, he's, jokes he's on you, I'm not the missile. carry. <laughs> okay, they'll, they'll hold back on diving the high ground. Dude, this is the oh, problem it's... now with that Aghanim's killing the Venge. It, it doesn't mean anything. Mickey's still fully ready to play with us. But Boxy's here. Boxy's here. XXS has got to get out. He has got money actually by his side. Maybe the two of them can take down Boxy and Insania. The rock throw? Turn, throws a rock back at uh, Mone. Gives him a chance to close him with the Pulverize. They've also got the Overgrowth with the Light Strike Grand Laguna Blade. Will burst Boxy down. They get the kill here. Oh, my God. Ton of damage from the two supports though, and Mickey, he's, he's on making the run over. He's invis. Monet, oh. he's this under vision. Mickey, he's gonna follow him up here, and he's gonna he's gonna set up. 
Magic Missile onto Monet. Monet trying to run. Mickey's still got a swap at the ready. Swaps Monet back in towards the nature's grass. Monet will turn with the light strike array, but he's not going to be able to get the connection onto Mickey. Mickey takes down the leaner. Monet falls. How is Luka doing? How, how are they doing this? <laughs> this is so crazy. I mean, they find the Lina again. Monet starting to get slowed down a lot. Venge constantly hunting. The two supports hunting. And Nisha just farming, farming over. Oh, and Senya will get caught. Okay. Was able to take out Sami's cats, correct? At the least, on the way out. I mean, Mikke, Nisha, and Boxer, they're still looking like they're ready to pick a fight here. The, the swap back on to XWY, but the global's out. Okay, getting low the first time. Oh, him taken up. down, but he's ready for round two. And indeed, with the magic missile ready to throw out, they'll still take out XWY. Oh, I so love that's it. the danger when you're killing this Venge. Mikkei is still going to be ready to immediately go again with that stun. Yeah, the fact that it, I mean, this has always been the case, of course, but the fact that it just liquid all the space in the world to allow these Midas's to go off, to allow them to get the initiations always, you could be in some issues. XXS. Uh oh. The swamp back. And uh, yeah, not a chance for him. The rest of his team, Asta, they were they were smoked up, but not in position to go for him. They're going to go for Nisha instead. Look at the jump on him in the mid lane, but he has Aegis, and he'll have the rest of the team coming over to back him up. XWY's trying for the TP out, but Mickey's already turned up, and with the magic missile, puts a stop to XWY's escape. Boxy ready to charge him from the side. XWY separated from the rest of his team. He'll get off a, a big avalanche, but not enough to keep him alive. As Liquid, they'll take him out. And they're immediately ready to oh, go for especially when these BKBs start to get low. Extra bit of control you should can offer in the fights. Aster, they've got a Hawk, they have great vision of this fight, they're making the jump. They're gonna try the jump. Nice start. See, they can burst through Mickey the once, the silence is there. Mickey, it gets taken down. And they can even see if they can take him down a second time this time. They're trying for the temp, for, for, for this strong illusion, they'll be able to get it. So this time, no Mickey whatsoever in the fight. They bail out nicely as well. Force here onto XWY. Gets him out of harm's way. See Monet still standing strong. Still has the BKB if required. And this time Asta very clean with the moves there. They get Mickey out well and truly this time. They take him down the twice. Nice force stabs and very good patience. Monet is hanging on to BKB. Not really wanting to overextend at all either. Good defensive posture there. XWY. XWY. And he's going to be able to close the gap. Can he get the toss back? He can. Gets nice the toss God. back on to Zai. Excellent catch from Tiny. Let's see if Liquid can do anything in return. Insania. He's going to lead in here with Box. He still has the overgrowth in Senia if he sees a chance to go. Mickey swaps in aggressively. Closes the gap on the XWI with the magic missile. Nisha with the Tempest double. Locks down the two of them with the Gleipnir. Continue to push forward. Insania still holding on to the ult if he sees a chance for it. And has the blink opportunity. Look, Mickey is taking out. Though. Mickey died. Curse. They're doing. Aster's playing so well right now. The aggression that they're putting on and the saving of the BKBs. They know if they pop BKB, Insania roots. That's what Insania yeah. is also waiting for. Waiting for the moment that they... Tr and try the swap in. He has BKB available, XWY. Insania's in with the jump. Jumps in, gets the overgrowth off. Still no XWY. He's actually just going to go for the TP out. They'll drop the black hole. A very short, quick one there from Zai to put a stop to it. <laughs> but it will do exactly that. I mean, uh, probably make sure that they get the... I mean, it looks like a little bit of a meme, but it's a good one. And now they'll open up Roche for themselves. Everything is down for Aster and Liquid. They should be able to get this one for free. Monet. Aster, what do you do now? Didn't manage to get that Roshan fight they were hoping for. Still have Monet okay. very strong, and he does have MKB to focus through the bubble, but... Team fights are very complicated for them. Next up, you white. You Managed by the toss back onto Boxy, but Boxy's gonna get swapped back out by Mickey. Mickey with a save. They'll throw the rule down onto Mickey. They'll take him out once. Do it a second time. They're gonna blade thrown out, but the Greaves heals there from Zai. Mickey still available to play. Look at these. I mean, Baboka's almost dying. He has to actually get the heal off. Zai. Zai does have the black hole available, but of course, Sami's cat sitting back and holding onto Global. Oh, but look at this. I think this isn't even the real Nisha. And Mickey again. Keeping the double alive. I mean, you're having to deal with two, you're having to deal with two Mickeys and you're having to deal with two niches. And, and most teams, as we've seen in this major, they can't deal with one Mickey and one niche. So nope. good luck with both dealing with two of these guys. Oh, I mean, this is so. Look at look, they're just they have to cluster. And ready? Tempest doubles dead. Three, two, one. It's back. Another one ready to go. <laughs> spark. Oh race. my! Oh. I'm telling you, no one's having fun anymore on Aster. No, these oh the spark race. The nightmares. <laughs> They're back. It really is. It's... 
impossible to play for these supports. There you go, smoke from Liquid. Looking to hit. Mickey on the charge, level 18. He'll find oh, the silencer. Siamese cat, that's the big catch here. They find Tight. the silencer. Oh he's gone. My God. And indeed, he's in with a black hole. I mean, it's over, folks. It's over. That's. Yeah. You know, I mean, the swap on the silencer, a three man Get golden the for Boxy, a four man black hole. All right. GG out. Good God, Liquid is too good what at these the fights. Hell? They're actually too good. They. <laughs> Tier fours are going down. They're on. The, it's over. I it's mean, they'll, they'll buy. They'll come in with the buyback. But there's too many raids. Look at the rates. <laughs> there's everywhere. He's going to walk through these. There's. Oh, oh nice Lotus. Swap. Nice, nice. XX. He's in with the raw. But the ancient's falling. There's no stopping Liquid here. As GG, it's over. Liquid. I mean, what a way to end two it. more.